What I learned was from the IRS, the federal government website, they said that most millionaires have multiple streams of income. They said that 65% of the average millionaire has three streams of income. 45% had four streams of income. 29% have five streams of income. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Truth Life Podcast. I'm your host, Tyron Johnson. Can you do me a please, one big favor? If this podcast has given you any type of insight, any type of help, if you've been enjoying this week after week, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. If you're on Apple Podcasts, please subscribe, leave a review, just so that it can help for the algorithm and that this video can be passed around to many of your friends. Also, if you're on Instagram, post a clip from this podcast in your IG. Tag me, Tyron Johnson. With that being said, welcome to the Truth Life Podcast, episode 78. And today we're talking about something that I love a lot, that I'm very passionate about, that has changed my life, side hustles. Side hustles are huge. Side hustles is something that can help you retire early. Playing basketball, my dream was never to play in Europe. My dream was to play in the NBA. And if I played in Europe, I wanted to play at the highest level in Europe. That hasn't happened. I don't think that's going to happen. So I'm making the most out of what I, what I, what I got. But every day, I'm thinking of more ways to make sure that I'm financially secure when I'm done because I can't play basketball forever. Plus, me playing at this level, I don't know if I'll be able to keep that fire and still be excited to play. So I know my time is coming to an end, so I had to make sure that I get a lot of side hustles, a lot of side hustle money so that whenever I'm done, I can make sure that I'm good. Because let's just be honest. If you're a basketball player overseas, the majority of you guys are getting paid peanuts. We're getting paid peanuts compared to what we bring in, compared to what we do. It's a few guys over here that's making good money, great money. But for the most guys I know, guys are making peanuts, right? You can't retire off this money. You can't. The lifestyle that people think you live in overseas, stop it. <laughs> you guys got to get real strategic and take advantage of the opportunity that you have. Most teams provide you with a car and a house. That's two important notes that you don't have to pay for your career. So if you play eight years, you can take your money that you're making and invest it or save it or whatever you want to do with it, but use it to accelerate your retiring. That's what you can do. What I've noticed, me playing overseas, most guys make around 30, 40K. Most guys. And I will say most guys make around that 30K mark. Nothing's wrong with that. You know, 30K, no bills, that's not bad, bro. <laughs> Tax-free, that's not bad. But what I'm saying is, is that you got to understand that you can only hoop for so long. And if you're playing in that 30K range, it's easy to replace you because many guys will take that 30K. So while you're playing, you want to make sure that you got you a side hustle. We have a lot of time off. You know, we practice maybe three hours a day. If you're a real basketball player, I try to spend five hours a day in the gym or basketball-related activities. So make sure that within that other time that you're taking two, three hours, to make some extra money because with technology and how the world has made it possible to make money online, it's very easy and you don't have to invest a lot of money. So what I learned was from the IRS, the federal government website, they said that most millionaires have multiple streams of income. They said that 65% of the average millionaire has three streams of income. 45% had four streams of income. 
29% have five streams of income. Multiple streams of income is where it's at when it comes to side hustles. I have seen my net worth quadruple since I've started side hustling, taking care of my money. It's amazing. Um, Side hustle is something that I've pretty much always done my whole life. Even when I was in college, I was always making beats. I started making beats since I was 12. So I was selling beats for $100, $200. And for a college kid, an extra $100, $200, that's a lot. You know, when you don't have a job, you can't really work because you're playing, you're playing college basketball. That's a very demanding a very demanding task. College basketball is crazy. <laughs> but all I'm going to say is that getting a side hustle, whether you're an athlete, whether you are a nine-to-five person, depending on what, what do you want out of life. If you don't like where you are in life, then you should start thinking about a side hustle because you don't have to stay where you're at. There's ways where you can change your life nowadays. Now, you might have to work extremely hard and sacrifice a lot, but isn't it worth it? It should be worth it. You know, because my whole, my whole thing was I wanted to make enough money to take care of my monthly bills. That way I could live for free. So like I said, my team take care of my house, take care of my car, but I have other little miscellaneous bills. I try to make money on the side to take care of those bills, to make sure that I'm living for free. That was my goal at first. But then it turned to I wanted to make as much money as I do on the side. I wanted to make as much money on the side as I do as a basketball player. Now I'm replacing my salary. And let me tell you something. Knowing that I can make as, as much money on the side as my salary has changed my basketball game. I, the pressure that is relieved from having your money in, in order is unbelievable. You can actually play with freedom because you're not playing for the next check. You're not, you're not playing for clout. You're not playing to get no type of momentum. You're just playing because you enjoy the game like you used to play when you were a kid. That's where you want to get at. If you got a nine to five job, you want to go to work and just enjoy what you're doing because you know that you can leave at any moment. So I, now when I play, I have no stress about nothing. And it has helped me tremendously. I just play on the court free. I used to worry about fitting in. I used to worry about the coach screaming at me. I used to worry about the teammates accepting me, the fans judging me. But I don't care about none of that no more. <laughs> I'm just playing basketball. I'm having fun. If I mess up, I mess up. I miss a shot, I miss a shot. But I'm going out and I'm working on everything I've worked on all week long. Because if I get fired, I know that I'm financially stable enough to take care of myself. I've built enough knowledge and enough skills to be able to support myself if basketball doesn't work. A lot of guys are stressed out because you don't know about the next contract. You don't know if you're going to get cut. You don't know if you're going to make more money. So whenever you're playing like that, that's a lot of pressure. That's mainly the two that's mainly the reason why guys are frustrated on the court. The pressure of supporting yourself and not the coach not understanding or the team not understanding your skill set. That's like the two main reason why players are frustrated. Same thing at your job. The main reason why most people are frustrated at their job because they're not making enough money or they don't like the role that they have at the job. They don't want to really do the task. They're just doing it to get by. Get by. Fix that. Once you fix that, man, I am telling you, that will change everything for you. Everything will be everything will change, man. Your whole view of the game will be totally different. You will have no fear. I have nothing. I know that I put the work in day in and day out. And when I get on the court, all I can do is live with the results. But I handle everything that I possibly can before the game starts, also including my money. I try to spend at least 10, 12 hours a month organizing my money, try to find different ways to make money on my wife so that we can make sure that we're good. 
I do the same thing with her every month. My side hustle is I got a few, right? Just just letting you guys in so you guys can see the certain little things that you can do to make extra money on the side. My side hustle is I make beats, tyronbeats.com. If you want to check out some of my beats, I sell beats. I lease beats on this website where rappers don't have to buy them full price. They can lease them, but it's contractual. So if you get a certain amount of streams, if you want to do certain things, there's different leases. But if you really want to own a beat, then the price gets in the thousands, right? So if I sell three or four exclusive beats, let's say I sell beats for $2,000. If I sell three of them a month, that's $6,000. That's just three beats. Rappers have that type of money. So I make sure that I try to get my quality up. I make sure that I get my organization up. I make sure that I do everything I possibly can to present this rapper whatever he needs. Right? And by me making beats since I was 12, I noticed something that a lot of rappers needed. Graphic design. So I'm like, okay, how can I learn graphic design? How can I be the one-stop shop for the rappers? So I started learning about Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator. I learned how to make logos. I learned how to make mixtape covers. I learned how to do um, edits. I know I learned how to do everything, basically, so that they can do everything with me. They can create a whole brand identity pack. Now... First they was paying just for the beat. That's $2,000 if they wanted the exclusive beat. Now they're getting a the logo from me. That's $400 on up. They want a website. That's another $800. You can, I can keep going on cover art. It goes on and on. You can get six, dollars $7,000 out of one person. You get 10 of those people, that's seventy grand. That sounds easy, but it's hard to get 10 people like that. Normally I get two or three a year. You know, it's hard to build those relationships. But it's possible if I put in more work. But I'm a basketball player, and that's my main focus. That's why this is on the side. So imagine you're getting paid $100,000 a year, another $40,000 just based off your skills and expertise. That's where the game's at, man. Um, I do online training. So I'm a professional basketball player. I'm known for scoring. Um, I'm, I'm known for being a pretty good player. So I'm giving the information that I've learned over the years to help me get to where I'm at. And I'm just giving it back. Essentially, I'm a trainer, but I'm doing it online because I have to do it online because I'm a full-time basketball player. So I give that back. I make programs to help players raise their level of their game. They pay me a small percentage, way less than what they'll pay a trainer, personal trainer every day, even exchange, sharing my knowledge, and at the same time, getting paid for it. Um, it's, it's ethical, too. Um, ebooks. I got one ebook, not ebooks, but I got one ebook, but it's done pretty well. It's called How to Make Them Pay. And this ebook has um, generated some money for me. But it's just, it's showing that ebook was about how I went from a no name college player to playing professionally for 12 years. Like the mentality that I needed to have to become a pro was essential in college. I put all of my. All of my philosophies, I put all of my thoughts in that book. People wanted to figure it out. And um, some guys can learn from it. A lot of guys can learn from it, especially if you're in high school and in college. That book, that ebook, is should be like a Bible, <laughs> especially for the guys that's unknown, not rated, not getting scouted, not getting recruited. How to make them pay should be a Bible for you. You can get it at tyronjohnson.com, by the way. Um Another source of income I get is coaching, private coaching. I try to keep that down to 10 players or 10 people per month. I don't try to go over that because, you know, I take a lot of time. You know, we deal with nutrition. We deal with getting your game right, mental, getting your mindset right. It's a lot come with that. You know, got to break down a lot of things. And I get some very tough and I get very, I get very into helping my, my, helping the people that I mentor. So, that's tough, but that's that's also good money. You know, some some it's different programs, you know. It's thousand dollar program, it's hundred dollar program, depends on what you choose, but that can be a very lucrative business for you if you want to start. Um photography and videography. I've been taking photos since I was 
20 or 19 years old, I bought my first camera and I've been doing videos for forever. So in the summer, I do music videos for rappers. Another, <laughs> another way to get money from rappers. Um, you gotta understand these dudes got all these watches, these chains, these rings. These guys got big money. They're buying bottles in the club. What's wrong with, they're going to spend money on the way that they look. So provide something that helped them look better. So photography and videography is amazing. One year, when I retired for six months, man, I survived off night, night of dancers, exotic dancers. I used to rent hotels, take the pics. They would pay crazy money. Dancers make money real fast. They make a lot of money. Boom. I was supplying. They were getting pictures for their ads. I was getting money to eat. I was living with my sister, but I was basically living in the garage trying to figure it out. You know, um, yeah, all of the, the side hustles that I just said could be start, started with very minimal investments. Um, you don't need a lot of money to get started with side hustles. You don't, you don't even need a lot of information. You just, what are you doing daily? Whatever you're doing daily, you can really just turn that into a business. Because you're an expert in that field. Um, some side hustles that anyone can do for little no, to no money. Let's go. I'm going to give you five, right? I got them written down, so I'm looking down a little bit. One, you could sell your items. There's eBay, eBay Facebook, Marketplace, um, Craigslist. There's a bunch of ways that you can sell your items online. You got a bunch of items around the house that you're not using I took my items and I realized that I had so much money just laying around the house that it was crazy. I think I made like $10,000. I had drones that I wasn't using, uh, designer clothes that I don't wear anymore. I don't like wearing designer clothes anymore. Um, a bunch of sneakers, um, a bunch of toys and stuff laying around the house. Just toys, like just technology, tech, tech, technology type things. Um, yeah, I had a bunch of things just sitting around and I sold them on Facebook Marketplace and made like 10K. At this time, I had like, I had just retired. I retired like two times in my career just because, like I said, my dream wasn't to play in Europe. So I fight this every day, <laughs> to be honest with you. I fight every day to stay positive, to try to enjoy my career because you only get to do this one time. So I want to live in the moment. Um, so yeah, sell your items, man. You're not using these things. You're just cluttering everything up and becoming a minimalist has been one of the best things that has ever happened to me, but that's for another episode. You can flip items. You can go to craigslist.com, go to the free section, find somebody, somebody's giving away a free couch, free refrigerator, free pencils, free toys, free whatever. It might look like shit. And it might not be much value, but you'll be surprised. You might find something like a refrigerator on there that works. You clean it out, Ajax in it, whatever you need to do, bleach it down, create an ad, post it on Facebook Marketplace, and you can sell a free refrigerator for one to $200. That's an extra $200 you got in your pocket. Now, it's not much, but this is for you guys that's trying to be cheap and don't want to put in any work. Just use what you already have around you. Another thing you can do, number three, is you can be a virtual assistant. People always need help. I'm searching for a virtual assistant right now. If I had somebody every day on side my side just working for me, I'm actually going to start incorporating my wife into this role because now it's starting to get up. But, man, virtual assistant, people are paying top dollars for that. Everyone needs help. Everyone can use an extra hand. You can be that person. It's not a lot of time you got to invest it, but you can get a lot of money by doing that, right? Number four, social media. Social media is where it's at. People don't pay for billboards like that anymore. People pay for social ads. You can run people's social media. You can create content for people's social media and get paid for it. You can do so much on social media nowadays, man. Some business people just don't have the time to dedicate it to social media. So what they do, they pay people to run their social media. All you're doing is having a couple meetings, having a couple discussions where we're going, boom, boom, boom. You're getting paid. 
And especially for you girls, especially for you, 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 you women out here that's half naked on the internet. If you half naked on the internet and you're not banking in on OnlyFans, you're crazy. Because I'm not going to judge the reason why you're half naked on the internet. That's your own business. But if you're going to be half naked, you might as well get paid for it. Because that's the only benefit I see. I mean, it's not like it ain't helping you get married or it's not going to help you get a job. But it can help you get some dollars. Once again, I'm not judging. Just being honest, but OnlyFans is a mult. You can become, you can bring in four figures a month. You can bring in five, six thousand dollars on on OnlyFans. So, <laughs> you girls out there that's just you know always on your IG stories showing off your body and stuff like that, get paid for it. Why not? Um, number five, monetize your skills. Um, you're an expert at something. You know, if you're not, you can become an expert at something. We all got some type of talent. Generally, something you like. Create products around whatever you like and turn it into a course, turn it into a, a e-commerce product, mentorship. You can turn it into merch. You can do all kinds of things, man. You can make money a bunch of ways, but monetize your skills. Monetize what you already have, you know. But uh, I'm not going to keep you too long, man, because I can go all day about this. I love side hustles. I'm very passionate about it. I think more people should start taking advantage of it because a lot of people are complaining about work. A lot of people are complaining about their lives and side hustles can really give you some freedom. Um, Side hustles are demanding, very demanding, but can be very effective with proper planning. If you have good planning, you can make sure you can really speed the process up. Side hustle get really overwhelming when you don't have no plan, when you don't have no direction. Then it's just too much. The oldest way to make money, though, the oldest side hustle in the book, if you don't want to deal with technology, if you don't want to deal with any of these things, or you don't know how to use a computer or whatever the case may be, it's still no excuse because the oldest side hustle in the world is to get a part-time job. There's always jobs around the neighborhood that you can get that you can help the community. You can help the, the store owner. You can find a part time job, and especially where you're from in the country. You can cut grass. You can paint houses. You can clean cars. You can pick up leaves. You can do so much things in the country that is crazy. So if you can do all those things in the country. Imagine what you could do in the city. You can dog walk. You can pick up dog poop. It's man, you can do anything. What's an extra two, three hundred dollars on a weekend? Two, three hundred dollars on a weekend, three hundred times four, that's twelve hundred dollars a month. Are you crazy? <laughs> get that money, man. Get that side hustle money because it's out there. You gotta take advantage of all the different technologies out there. You know. And to to really, to really get to what you're trying to get to. You gotta understand that my I think most people work a nine to five. But whenever you're trying to retire, whenever you're trying to live a life of freedom, what you do from nine to one is very important. You gotta take advantage of that time to change your life. You work from nine to five, you come home, you relax, six, seven, eight, spend time with your girlfriend, your wife, your kids, eat, watch whatever you wanna watch. But from nine to one, you back on the grind. You creating Whatever you got to create on the side to eventually replace what you've been doing from nine to five. That's what most people do. At some point in your life, you're going to have to shut everything down. At some point, I talk about this in my ebook. I won't get into details here, but you got to go and get the ebook. But I shut everything down my last year of college because it was my last shot to get to the NBA. Today, I'm shutting everything down. I don't own much. I own two pair of sneakers. I own minimal clothes. Um, I don't go on trips. I don't do much. I try to do a few things with my wife just to keep the relationship interesting, but we're both very min- live a minimalistic lifestyle because I have a goal, a financial goal. I have a life goal that I want get, to get to, 
And nothing's coming between that. So everything has to be sacrificed. Family has to be sacrificed. Friends have to be sacrificed. Social events have to be sacrificed. Everything has to be sacrificed. Also, because I'm doing everything I can to still be the best basketball player that I that I can. So I don't have time. Basketball is my nine to five. But after that, I'm being an entrepreneur because I'm trying to do as much as I possibly can to make sure that when I'm done, I am financially good for life. I don't want to have to ever work again after I'm finished dribbling this basketball. So I don't got time right now to do other things. Until I get to that mark, I have to put my head down in the grass and figure it out. You have to do the same thing. It's going to be a time. It might be three, four years. Eat like shit. Just go through everything you need to go through. Raise like a phoenix. Then you don't have to ever do nothing again. I actually, I talk about this in the book. I'm gonna give y'all a little. I'm gonna give y'all a little. I actually blew through like two million dollars, man. Playing this game, I've talked about this extensively. I raised through the Phoenix. That could have retired me, but I blew through it. Now I got to get back, and I got to go back through the dirt, figure it out. But this time, I got to go through it with a plan. Last time I went through it, I was just winging it. This time, I got a plan. I got a family I want to raise. I got a wife now. Everything is strategic. That's how you got to move. You got to move on strategy. Everything is with a purpose. If you're going to date, date with intentions. If you're going to work, work with intentions. If you're going to play sports, play with intentions. Don't just be going through the just don't just be going through the motions. Life is serious. Life is long. Life is also fast. <laughs> All right? Once again, man, if you like this episode, if you agree with me, if you like talk about side hustles, leave a comment, share clips in your IG story, tag me at Tyron Johnson. Yeah, man. Like I always say, every day, make them pay so that you could live a truth life. What is a truth life? Take respect until freedom. The end of the day, freedom doing whatever you want to do, when you want to do it, how you want to do it, with who you want to do it with. That's how we should be living, man. I'm out. See y'all next time.